OpenAI finally released their GPTs mention within the chat interface so you can toggle between different awesome GPTs built by the communities within the same conversation. In this short video, I'm going to share with you what this release entails, some of the limitations, and an awesome use case of how you can use it to optimize your conversations. Before I do that, I would love to invite you to join our beta release for openbelt.ai. We are building a multi-channel AI chatbot assistant that you can deploy on your social media DMs, on your messaging apps, as well on your website. It's openbuild.ai, and if you join the pre-launch list, we will notify you as soon as the release is out, which is very soon. So what does this mean? What are GPTs? I've done many videos on these. It's basically you and I are now able to build apps, very specific type of apps within the chat GPT interface, and it's very simple to do that. They dummy it down to an interface that you can follow the prompt, but you need to provide some sort of a value. Now, that has been available, but one thing that they are trying to phase out is what they call the plugins within the GPT. That had tremendous use case. For example, you can do an outline and then export it into a presentation. You can interface it with certain products. Like for instance, in Vbout, we let you create prompts that creates emails, schedules them on your behalf, social media posts, and so on. So these plugins are being phased out. And while before ChatGPT allowed you to use three plugins within the same chat, now with the mentions feature that I'm about to show you, you can definitely leverage a lot more. So let's dive right into this, how you can use it, and what are the limitations of that. Just as you would expect, the use of mention will come directly within the prompt itself. So I can type in, for instance, Richard, and it's gonna show me right here my own personal GPT, which I have a full video on how I built by parsing my own bio and professional aspirations and so on. I can also ask a question, give me a quote. What's good about this, it's pulling directly from my own knowledge base that I created. And sometimes it even gives me quotes from some people that I read books from or inspirational characters that I mentioned in my bio. So the more you add to this, the more results you're going to get, of course. I can now switch to a completely different GPT. So I have Gary V here, which many of you would know. Can you give me your own quote? There you go. So I'm simply switching between GPTs. Now, worth mentioning, you cannot use two mentions within the same prompt. So one is all it takes for the time being, but the context of the conversation will be passed between one GPT and the other. This is super powerful because you can literally have a board of smart people, if they have their own GPTs in place, that you can pass conversations to. You can also use utilities, like analyzing business plans, creating content for social media, now, the only issue with Dimension, it will only show you things you have used in the past. So if you'd like to have that repo available to you, make sure to go to Explore GPTs first, prepare the GPTs that you want to use and use them at least once. From there on, they'll be available in the drop mention. So for the case of today, I'm going to create a very basic business plan. So I'll need one GPT that's a business plan builder. There are so many of them, you can choose the one that you feel most comfortable with. Some of these, like 1K is how many people used it, which could mean that it has a solid reputation. The second one I want is a social media content writer to create some posts for let's say seven days around that particular business. So I'll choose one here. And how about we add one more GPT that's designed to create a website based on a prompt. So we'll type in one of these website generator. All right, so now that I engaged with all the different GPTs that I would like to use in one particular chat, instead of using them individually like this, I'm going to go ahead and initiate a new one. So let's just go start a new chat. And we'll begin. So the first thing I'm going to say is summarize the website openbelt.ai. I'm just feeling a little bit lazy. I don't want to parse it the entire 
website content. Now, because I'm using GPT-4, it has web browsing capability. It is a plus membership that comes at $20. Hopefully in the future, a lot of these features, including mentions, will be available to the free version of GPT. I can definitely modify this and tweak it, add more to it, but I'm just going to stick to whatever came back. Now I'm gonna mention Gary and I'm gonna say, Gary, can you give me your honest, brutal, feedback on this idea and I'm pretty sure many influential people especially in business and the startup world are going to have their own GPT program to answer and discuss ideas exactly like they would it won't be too far into the future that you can pick your character that you like so they can participate in this collaborative board like feedback on your idea so this is some of the feedback that I got and this could be valuable and now I'm gonna ask it to create a business plan. So I'll just hit at, and because the business plan builder was already in my history, it's going to make it available. Now, sometimes you need to refresh the screens, it's not really consistent and buggy, so you need to be a little bit patient with it. Please create me a business plan. Now, as you can see, it created a very basic business plan outline, which I can elaborate on and you can definitely get deeper into the content. And I had some follow up questions, which is how that GPT was programmed. I would say, yes, please provide a market analysis. This is great. It gave me a full analysis on the market, which could be more details and I can dive more into questions on this. But if you're doing a SWOT analysis, I can see how this could be very useful. Now let's build a basic website for Open Build. I will go ahead and mention, which is the website generator. Can you create? Now I know I already have a website, it's very basic. So if I want more, or if you're starting this idea from scratch and you don't even have a design, this could be a good starting point for you. It did give me an outline and suggestion on this. It's just asking me if I'd like a visual representation. I'm gonna say yes, please. All right, so this is the end result. And of course, it's not what you'd expect. And website generators are not 100% there, but you can interact with it and ask for more or even try different plugins that could help you to generate something a little bit more relevant. All right, so assuming we've gotten to some sort of a mock-up, now I'm going to ask the social media generator to create posts for me for open build for the next 10 days. Can you please create 10 posts? It's now generating post ideas for Facebook, including the prompt to generate images. This is really powerful stuff because I can do it for other channels. I can even mention more GPTs to perhaps create scripts for a video that I want to do or an explainer. I can even tell it to export all of this into a PDF, create a presentation for an investor pitch deck. The big value in using custom GPTs and mentions within the same conversation is that it's going to save you a lot of time toggling between the different ones. You don't have to pass the context and repeat it over and over. And the conversation itself can be fine tuned from one GPT to the other. So this shows you the power of GPTs. You can literally combine or create GPT packs for creating businesses, for social media planning, for general marketing planning, business analysis, and much more. And with more GPTs popping up in the store that provide value, and obviously this is gonna take some time, you can really start to see the future of this and how useful it can be for any aspect of your business. If you have ideas for your own GPT mentions and how you can use it to optimize our day-to-day -day or business use cases, please share them in the comments below. Thanks again for joining me. I would love if you support this channel by subscribing or liking or sharing this with somebody that you know that could find it helpful. Thank you again.